welcome everybody to my channel this is um, a glass of water with some uh, two ice cube that's been falling down on the glass and here we see the foam the spray the bubble and the interaction between the water and the cube so they are floating so there is a feedback uh, coming from the flip simulation that's affecting the rigid body making it naturally float as you can see here go down then it push it all the way up so let's go and see how we created this simple simulation wing fox introducing the comprehensive guide for filmmaking with houdini and unreal engine 5 with the lecturer goido bonzini this is for houdini and unreal engine 5 here you will learn the most used and useful workflow to exchange data and asset between Houdini and Unreal Engine. You will learn about the workflow, the organization of the project for Houdini and an Unreal Engine and how to exchange file and you have an overview of the asset production and the integration between the two program Houdini and Unreal Engine 5 filled up with a lot of tips and tricks to learn from the filmmaking process and how to do it the good way and the best way and uh, it will address a lot of very useful technique through the journey. You will learn the basic technique and also the advanced technique to produce a very high quality continent that's between Houdini and rendered and set it up in Unreal Engine 5. Hopefully you will enjoy it there. Uh, you can see the link in the description below and you will get a 15% uh, discount coupon. So hop in there. Thank you. So this is the scene file. First we'll talk about what we have in the scene. A simple grid and the geometry. So for the geometry we started with a file. This is the one, let me remove this one. So this is the OBJ file. I make it to a proper size. Make it a little bit bigger. So I have like small, uh, slow motion effect. Okay. And I remove whatever attribute it has. Then I put it on the origin. See, because the far away you are from the origin the more error you will have with your simulation then you see here here I want to prepare it for the uh, rigid body and flip fluid simulation so as you can see this is a concave shape and it has no thickness so I want to fracture it so I can have convex shape and add some volume and extrusion so body extrusion done and then make sure it's uh, converted no soup nothing so, so it's all open this one is ready for the render the simulation preparation is here this is for the render output okay so Here we will talk about the part that will be involved in the simulation. So first I make a split because I'm interested in the area that will be affecting the simulation which is this body area. So this is no need to be added to the simulation but it can be added to the render. Okay. So this is the part I am isolating. Simply, I am extruding it because it was thin. So I have an extrusion with output to the back and front, and I'm fusing it just to make sure there is no isolated bones, so it's tight. Then I scatter just the 50 bones and added Voronoi fracture, so I have this fracture surface, which is easy 
to have convex shape than concave shape. And this is the VB in case we need it. And here I added a collision source. And the collision source, you have the geometry and you have the volume. So you have both polygon and you have the collision, the volume as a PDB. So you have this one and you have this one. This will be added to the simulation. Here was another. Ah, this one. This one. You can see in this part we are having the same split, and I'm making a piece so it's a little bit smaller than the container itself, the glass, adding more divides, deleting some top because this is the part I'm interested with to make it as a source for the fluid source. Then I'm filling it so it's uh, closed and uh, watertight and I'm putting it a little bit very slightly a little bit up. Okay. So, in order to create the flip fluid uh, initial state, so if you can if you look here, I have it already settled and in position. So what I did, and up to the fluid, I have the flip fluid solver, I have my rigid body, this rigid body are the two boxes, it's already here. You can see first one and second one. So here what I did, I isolated all these, the rigid body, I kept the static. The static is this uh, this uh, glass and I run the simulation. So I give it like a hundred or so frame till the water is settled. After that I went outside. I went to the flip fluid object in board here and I took one file. I saved one OBJ file. The, this OBJ file, is, see, as you can see, frame 140, 145. So this is the one I saved it. Then I went up and I went back and I imported it. So this is after we uh, uh, so, um, simulated 145 frames, so it's already settled. I make it a little bit shorter. Tribute delete and a blast. So I'm keeping the surface and keeping the particle. So here we have the particle, here we have the surface. I'm removing unnecessarily from the previous simulation attribute. So in order to make the flip fluid affect the rigid body, so when they fall down, not only they are um, displacing the water particle outside, also the water have some influence back on the rigid body. And uh, the best way to do it is the only uh, state for world place is in the flip solver itself, in the volume, in the solver, see I go to the flip solver, I go to the volume motion, I go to the solver, and the feedback scale, I make it one. If you make it two, it will be uh, even stronger, so it will push it even higher. So when this one falls down, if it's one, it will go slowly up. If it's two or three or four, it will go. It will push it harder, up, up, outside. So one is looking natural. Divergence, air, narrow band also I used, and uh, uh, I put narrow band. The one we talk about the particle and the surface item here, so we can have. 
better and faster simulation. After that, I took it out. I went here. It's imported. Compression done. And then I save it as a compressed uh, uh, status. And this is the preview. As you can see, this is the narrow band. So it's just the outside and wherever there is a collision. So if I take frame somewhere in around. So this is the flip book for the flip fluid simulation. And here uh, I will do another flip book with the ice cubes uh, simulation also, just in a second. Let's run it. So this is the flip book. As you can see, the ice cube fall down and they float back up due to the feedback of one. Let's watch it again. On both sides. So with this step, we are finished with the uh, flip fluid and these two ice cube. In the next section we'll talk about white water and how to render them in Arnold. So see you there.